Hello, and welcome to the course, The Truth in Our Bones, How Human Skeletal Remains Tell Us About Past People. I'm Dr. Andrea Waters-Rist, and I'll be your instructor for this course. Over the next five weeks, we will explore the information, the truths, that are contained in your bones and teeth. Information that comes to be contained in everyone's bones and teeth over the course of their lives. Information that we can use to figure out how past peoples lived and died. There's a remarkable amount of information stored in your bones, in my bones, in the bones of the people who lived 100, 1,000, even 1 million years ago. Our skeleton contains clues about the foods we commonly eat, what illnesses we've endured, what jobs and activities we regularly engage in, and even if we've moved to a new part of the world. In this course, we will work together to find and interpret these clues. Together, we will begin to explore the scientific field that is known as human osteoarchaeology. Human, of course, because it's about us and our ancestors. Osteo, because it's about our bones. And archaeology, because we use this information to better understand the behaviors and events experienced by past people. There are other names that you may find for our field, including physical anthropology, biological anthropology, human skeletal biology, and more. You'll note that one of the online forum questions asks you what name is given to this field of study in your country or region of the world. The ultimate aim of human osteoarchaeology research and anthropology and archaeology in general is to better understand what it means to be human. How did we get to be the way we are today? What factors shaped our behavior and our biology? Knowing this, we may better understand why we are the way we are and why we do some of the things we do and thus give some informed consideration about where our species might be going. In this course, you will explore some of the ways human osteoarchaeological research contributes to answering such big questions. Think about some hot topics in the media, for example. Are humans inherently violent? How long is it normal to breastfeed for? What types of foods are healthiest for us? And is it really a good idea to adopt the so-called paleo diet? Do vaccines and modern medicine really save that many lives or make us live that much longer? Are we as a species somehow inclined to move, migrate, to explore? And finally, how much exercise and activity are our bodies adapted to get? How can your skeleton tell us about all of these things? Well, join us to find out. In the next short video, there's an introduction to the team assembled to teach this course. We give you more detail about the content of each weekly module, and we'll explain a bit of the course setup. If something is unclear, you can always ask questions on the online discussion forum. After that, we'll dive right into learning how to estimate someone's age at death from their skeleton. See you soon.